today my semi-annual record store day sneak peek and vinyl giveaway brought to us by Craft Recordings. Hi, my name is Frank. Welcome back to Sundays on Channel 33 RPM, your channel for vinyl gear and more. I love these episodes. I get to do it twice a year. And I've done this like three or four times now. Those of you who follow Channel 33 RPM on social media know uh, or knew that this was coming up because I showed this big box of records I got when it came in the mail. But uh, for those of you not in the know, Craft Recordings sent me two copies of each and every exclusive record that they are releasing this Friday on Record Store Day Black Friday. One copy is for me to open on today's video and show you and give you a sneak peek and the other one is to give away. That's right, one Lucky Channel 33 RPM viewer is going to win um, a copy, well seven records, every single record that Craft Recordings is giving away on Record Store Day Black Friday. Stick around to the end of the video. So I'll tell you how to win those records. In the meantime, let's dive in and start opening some of these. Channel 33 RPM. Actually, before I get to these records, I want to let you know that uh, same as last year, I'm going to be holding a Black Friday sale on the Channel 33 RPM merch store. To me, all exclusive Black Friday merch, not the regular stuff, just exclusive product that'll be out for a week, including this long sleeve Channel 33 RPM anniversary shirt uh, plus the, the return of the $10 t-shirt so stick around for that um, that's going live on Friday for one week um, also I opened the box and uh, someone from Kraft that sent me this this is not a record store day release uh, this is not part of the giveaway but uh, it is very cool it is the soundtrack 2 LP set uh, to John Wick Chapter 2. And I'm kind of behind the eight ball. I actually just recently saw the um, the first John Wick movie, which I absolutely love. It was a really fun movie, tons of action. And um, I really dug it, so I haven't seen Chapter 2 yet. I look forward to checking it out. And now I have the soundtrack. Again, this is not part of the giveaway, and it's not a uh, Black Friday record store day release. But uh, I guess there's a bonus someone threw in for me, so thank you very much. All right, let's get into these. The first one here is uh, Jazz Dispensary, the Dank Defunk Blend. This is the one I was looking forward to the uh, the most. It's got their news release here. I'm gonna pull my glasses off. I told you before I need to go to the eye doctor again. Anyway, they're telling me in this news release that this is the newest installment in the ongoing Jazz Dispensary series featuring mind ex featuring a mind expanding collection of rare and funky tracks from the 60s and 70s called from the Prestige Records catalog. So, uh, I got the sticker here, Jazz Dispensary. Can you see that? I hope it's in focus. Um, anyway, a bunch of cool stuff. I love the artwork far out, right? Let's um, get the knife and give this one a quick open. The reason I love these compilations, because I'm getting into jazz, I'm getting into funk, but I need someone to curate these things for me because I'm not an expert. I'm just kind of developing my tastes. So this is, um, these releases are a real primer for me. Anyway, so I crack this open. These stickers, I'm not sure about you guys, but I like to keep pipe stickers whenever I can. So I'm gonna leave the um, the shrink on here and later I'll kind of carefully cut this out and I will um, put it inside the album jacket. Oh, this looks like a uh, sticker. High Fidelity Jazz Dispensary. Did not expect that. There's the inner, uh, there's track listing credits. Let's see what color this record is. All right, this is far out. We got some green wax. Very cool, I can't wait to spin this one. And again, a second copy for one lucky viewer. Okay, this here is a Matt Nathanson, Some Mad Hope. The uh, hype sticker here says, first time on vinyl, Matt Nathanson's 20, 2007 studio album uh, on sky blue vinyl. We have the RSD Black Friday sticker here. I don't know a lot about Matt Nathanson. It wasn't say. This uh, says uh, Matt Nathanson's best-selling album to date, 2007's Mad Hope, right here, uh, will make its vinyl debut on Black Friday. Uh, this is his sixth studio album, marking the singer-songwriter's Billboard 200 debut, limited to 2,500 copies. Witty and introspective. 
full of catchy melodies. So um, my curiosity is peaked. Again, I don't know a lot about this particular artist. Some of you will know far more than me. Let's crack it open. I love this time of year, Black Friday. So here is the inner, we got some lyrics. Got some uh, lyrics and credits. Let's look at this black, or this not black wax. This is blue, this is cool. And a lot of you are into the colored wax. I'm a black vinyl kind of guy, but uh, you know, if at no extra cost, I'm getting some colored vinyl. I'm okay with that as well. This is cool. Blue marble vinyl. And again, a second copy for one lucky 33er. Hey, look at this, we got Chet Baker. It could happen to you. Mono edition, according to the uh, hype sticker. Chet Baker's definitive vocal album, 180 gram, Black Friday. Credits there. It was a news release saying, um, few musicians, it says, have embodied the romantic and ultimately tragic jazz figure as totally as Chet Baker. Unschooled yet eloquent in his music and a fast liver who survived for nearly six decades, the Baker mystique has only uh, been reinforced uh, as one of the most haunt haunting trumpet styles and ingenious approaches to jazz singing. Let's crack it open. There's no printed dinner on this one. Comes in black wax, clear see-through sleeve. Can you see that on the Riverside label? I think this might be the, oh, I'm, I'm torn as to um, whether I'll play that, that funk album or this one first, but this one has definitely piqued my curiosity. Again, one for me and one for you. Here's another interesting one that I, I don't know a lot about. This is The Wrens. The Wrens' seminal 1994 album. It says a Pitchfork called it a lo-fi triumph of a record. Remastered and available for the first time on vinyl. Two LP set on Coke Bottle Clear. Let's see what's inside. Oh, okay, that's nice. The Wrens, songs, credits, two records. I will pull one out for you, unless there's something. Yeah, I'll just do one. It's not printed in hers. It's these uh, plain paper ones. And this is it. So this is uh, what they mean by Coke Bottle, Coke Bottle Wax. Cool. And again, we have a copy for one lucky 33er. Here's one, again, not familiar with it. Some of you probably are, um, but the album cover is pretty cool. This is Willie Colon. Um, mm -mm. Oh my gosh, it's not even in English, but look at this album artwork. What's going on there? It's a Christmas album. There's the back. This is one I'm gonna have to pull the news release out on. I'll hold it like this so you can see it as I'm reading. It says, uh, okay, this is Willie Colon, Colon, maybe, uh, and Hector Lavois. Um, I'm not going to try to pronounce the name of this album. Well, I will. As Asalto Navidano on translucent red vinyl. Both members of the Fania All Stars, trombonist Willie Colon and singer Hector Lavois, mm, were uh, instrumental in popularizing salsa in the United States. So this is some salsa music. This is intriguing too. I mean, man cannot live by rock music alone. Okay, hype sticker. It says uh, Fania's best, Fania, 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 best selling 1971 holiday album, all analog mastering from the original tapes by Kevin Gray. That's pretty cool. There's the record. I'm gonna spin this one. Um, Again, probably second. As with the others, here is the copy for one Lucky Channel 33 RPM viewer. It could be you, Canadian folk singer Buffy St. Marie, 50th anniversary of this album. And this album is called uh, Illuminations. It says here, um, an experimental masterpiece that combines electronic synthesizers and folk. Again, all analog mastering from the original tapes by Kevin Gray, pressed on 180 gram vinyl at QRP. Album featured on The Wire's 100 records that changed the world while no one was listening. What do we have inside? Okay, this is interesting. So we have an insert with the lyrics and credits. And check this out. This one's on yellow vinyl. This kind of looks like a MoFi sleeve. Well, it is a MoFi sleeve, but it's branded by uh, Quality Record Pressings, qualityrecordpressings.com. Uh, this is cool. I wish more um, record labels would do this kind of stuff, um, put these high quality anti-static sleeves inside their jackets. That's cool. I look forward to checking this one out as well. And yes, of course, an extra copy for the lucky winner. Next, we have uh, State Songs by John Linnell. What does it say here? F uh, 20th anniversary reissue. 
the debut soul album from John Little, one half of uh, the Might Be Giants, first time on vinyl, limited edition, pressed on green, marbled wax. There's the back, custom inner. And let's check out the record. Whoa, this is a nice one. Green marble vinyl, look at that. And of course, an extra copy for a lucky viewer that could be you. Okay, that's it, that's all seven records. It's been a long day. My hair is messed up. Uh, so in order to win this contest, it's really easy. You gotta do two things. Uh, first of all, and I'll leave a link to this below this video, but you need to, you need to subscribe to Craft Recordings YouTube channel. I'll leave a link below this video. Second thing you have to do is leave a comment below this video telling me two things. First, you have to tell me and confirm that you subscribed to Craft Recordings YouTube channel. So leave a comment saying, yes, I subscribed to Craft Recordings YouTube channel. That's the first thing. The second thing you have to do is of these seven records, you have to tell me what your favorite is and why. So two steps, well, three, I guess. Subscribe to Craft Recordings YouTube channel, link below. Two, leave a comment telling me and confirming you subscribe to Craft Recordings YouTube channel. Three, tell me of all these albums which one is your favorite and why? That's it. I will randomly pick one winner. Contest closes at, uh, when should it close? It's gonna close at 12 noon central time um, on Black Friday, Record Store Day, November 29th. I'll leave a date here below the video. And I will randomly pick a name and the days that follow, I will do a video announcing the winner and I will, per and I will, you'll get these records. You'll get all these records. So one winner, seven records, three steps, easy to win. Good luck 33ers and happy Record Store Day, Black Friday.